you can put the ink here. Right? So, there you go. Then, or you have to push this one. Right? Okay. Orange light here. So we need to press the resume button so that this one resume button for five seconds so that uh, it will initialize. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will gonna show you how to set up a new Epson L3210. So this printer is um, a multifunction printer. It can print, it can uh, photocopy, and also it can scan. So I'll be um, opening the box so that we can check the contents. So after unboxing, you should be able to check the contents. Say for example, the, the, the ink is the ink, the cyan, magenta, yellow, and the black. And also it comes with USB cable. It also comes with it, the installer here. Okay. And then it also has a power cord. Okay. So it should be complete when you buy this Epson printer. And also, as you can see, there is a tape, blue tape, on the unit. So you have to remove that one. Okay. So remove that one before you plug the power okay so i'm gonna pause the video now so that i can remove the tapes so we're done removing the tapes the blue tapes as you can see there are no blue tapes on the unit so the next part is we have to load the ink so we have here black yellow magenta and cyan so and in so the tank for the ink is located here okay you just have to open this one and then you can see there is a compartment for black for yellow for magenta and for cyan so guys be careful on refilling the inks because you have to put it uh, correctly so it's not advisable now that it will be interchange say for example you miss refill the cyan to the black or <laughs> the black to the magenta apartment so be careful guys so it can avoid the warranty and it can, it can also damage the printer so I suggest um, follow the uh, the sequence like black, yellow, uh, magenta, and cyan. So just put it one by one. Say for example, in black, you just have to open this one. Yes. Okay. So black, and then you get the black. So you could just open this. Then you can put the ink here. Right. So, there you go. Then, or you have to push this one. Right. Okay. So, as you are going to the field, you can. Uh, actually feel now the the transfer of the ink from the uh, bottle the ink bottle going to the tank okay, just uh, 
but I also want a future where I'm all okay. day. Living life is doing lots of cocaine. That's probably wait, no, for a minute. No shame. Wait, no, it's kicking in on Sundays. I guess it's taking for okay. each of us, and it's okay. You can also check the tank no, if it's already filled. Say here or black. So, right, all right, all right. I think we we fill the black. Just as you can see, this is the the empty tanks, and here is the black. And you can notice that it's already filled. No? Okay, I hope you can check it. So it's already okay then we can move to yellow right slowly then you can cover and Yellow. yellow. It will uh, fill the tank, as you can see. It's going up, it's going up. Right. Kinda stuck between a rock and a hard place. Do I work hard or live in my pace? You're only young once. Yeah, that's very nice, very easy. Living life is doing lots of cocaine. Wait, no, it's living with no shame. Wait, no, all right. I guess it's different for each of us, and that's okay. Okay, be happy. How to get there? Bad that you ask me. I think it's different for everyone. Some of us, all right. So we are now done with yellow. So let's move on to the cyan. Okay, cyan. So nice and easy. Cover. Open side. Okay. Let's make it quick. Let's make it quick. Let's go uh, magenta. Sorry, this is magenta. So now we are refilling the magenta tank. Check. It's moving up. Right. So you just have to hold down the uh, ink bottle. Okay. Hold it down. Almost uh, full. Right. And now we are done with magenta. So let's move on to cyan. Okay. So, yeah, that's all great, but I also want to be a little bit nice and easy. Right. And cover. Let's go with Sayan. So, go Sayan. Let's check. So this video you know, will surely help for those uh, buyers or consumers who bought this printer and the, you're going to um, do it yourself for the setup. So this will surely help you so that you have an idea on how to set this up on the actual. So this, that's why I'm showing it. So right. So the cyan is already filled. Then just have to remove the bottle. Okay. Remove the bottle. Cover the tank. Cover the tank. Right. 
So now we need to um, check the power cable and power on the printer. Okay. So now we have to plug the power cable. As you can see, uh, this is the back of the printer, and you can locate the power here. Okay, and also on the side, it's the USB port where you are going to connect from here going to your uh, computer. So now let's um, plug it. Right. So let's turn on the printer. Sorry about, sorry about that. So this is the panel of the printer. This is the power button or on and the black copy colored copy and the resume button the resume button is let's say for example uh, you forgot to um, put the band paper here so you need to uh, press the resume on the printing so you just have to press this one resume button right so let's power on so this is what it looked like in uh, first power on in a newly bought uh, Epson L2 L3210 Alright, so as you can see, uh, there is a orange light here. So we need to press the resume button no? so that this one, resume button, for 5 seconds so that uh, it will initialize. What I mean is that from the ink here, from the tank, it will go to the print head. Okay? So let's press this five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So right now the printer is um, initializing. So according to the uh, instruction there, no? In the manual, this will take around eleven minutes. So. Actually, guys, we already we are already um, almost done. So I'll be uh, pausing this video now so that and I'll come back after 11 minutes. Okay. So you can see also now it's blinking. So it indicates that it is already uh, initializing. So alright, um, the initialization is already done after 11 minutes so it should be the power um, LED should be only the, the one who will light and then right now we are going to test, conduct a test print no? so that we can check if the colors are okay. So in doing a self test. You just have to turn on, turn, turn off, I mean, the printer, right? And then, in order for us to perform a self-test or a print nozzle, a nozzle print, um, we have to press the um, power button and the resume button at the same time, okay? Let's say for 3 seconds. So press this one so that we can so that the printer will uh, 
print the nozzle okay dorsal print so let's try let's press this at the same time one two three release okay all right as you can see it's printing now so we'll check if the print out is okay right So, all right. So we have your black, yellow, magenta, and cyan. So it's okay, no. And as you can see, there's also details here: the serial number and color pages, uh, black and white pages, and also um, the border and blank pages and the total pages. Okay. So you can also check here the number of pages. So since this is the first time that we have print perform printing after the initialization process, so the record is um, still zero. But on the on our next print, uh, there should be a record here. Okay. So let's say for example. We perform again an assault print. Okay. Let's see if it records. Then let's perform again an assault print. One, two, three. Right. So let's check the records. So we have one here as you can see um color pages one so all right so this is okay now then yeah you've already done the um initial setup process and how to install the i mean to refill the inks so i hope this video helps you so thank you so much again for um, being with me today and uh, watching the video. So thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe and hit the no notification bell if, so that you will be notified. Anyway. Okay, so thank you so much and have a good day. Living life is doing lots of cocaine. Wait, no, it's living with no shame. Wait, no, it's sleeping in on Sundays. I guess it's different for each of us, and that's okay. Well, I just want to.